From Mountain View, California, it's The Cube, covering the 15th Annual Grow Awards. Brought to you by ACGSV. Hi, Lisa Martin on the ground with The Cube at the Computer History Museum for the 15th Annual ACGSV Grow Awards. Can you hear the collaboration and the innovation going on behind me? Very excited to welcome to theCUBE one of tonight's award winners from Adesto Technologies, Narbe Darakobi, and the president and CEO of Adesto. Congratulations on the Emerging Growth Award that Adesto has been honored with tonight. Thank you very much, we're very honored to be here. So you've been at the helm of Adesto for a long time. I'd like our audience to hear a little bit from you about who Adesto is, what you do, what makes you different. Perfect, so we are a, a technology company uh, and our products are used primarily in Internet of Things uh, applications across many, many segments. Uh, most of our business is within the industrial segment and our customers use our products to actually build uh, IoT solutions for their end markets. Our products include semiconductor chips uh, that are used at the edge of IoT, edge gateway devices that connects the local networks to the more broad uh, networks, and basically we enable our customers to take data from the physical world and send it up into the cloud. So you guys are, have had a great growth trajectory, obviously being recognized by the emerging growth winner from ACGSV. Tell me a little bit about it, I was looking at some information from you guys. And on 2018, you guys did a great job of executing on your strategic initiatives to really make 2018 a transformative year, a couple of acquisitions. Correct. Talk to us about the last year in particular and the growth that you have seen and the momentum you're bringing into 2019. Correct, correct. So we start, we enter 2018 as a provider of application specific memory devices for IoT. Uh, however, we realize that for our customers to take true benefit of the technologies we provide, we need to be a more holistic supplier of solutions. So as a result, we went through a whole process of looking at other uh, technologies that can complement what we have in a very similar way with strategic focus in the markets that we were focused in. And as a result, we made two acquisitions in the past summer. Uh, that ended up ex expanding our market opportunity, broadening our reach within existing customer, and significantly expanding our uh, offering portfolio to our end markets. And you guys have a really strong position with tier one customers in the in industrial yes. sector. You mentioned that. Expecting, tell me a little bit more though about your leadership here and what makes sure. these large industrial tier one players say Adesto is for us. Right. So uh, before I answer that, let me talk a little bit about the difference between industrial IoT and consumer IoT. Please, yes. So if you think about consumer IoT, it's what grabs headlines. It's the fitness trackers, the latest uh, home smart thermostats, and the smart watches, and so forth. The, these are new markets. Uh, volumes are grow very fast, but if next year a new shiny object is created, it's easy for the consumers to replace. They basically buy the new one, rip and replace the old one. Interesting thing about industrial IoT is that industrial IoT has these fragmented legacy systems that today run in their businesses. So if you look at the building we're in today, there is a fire and safety system that runs, there is a, a HVAC system that runs the business, there's a security system, and this could have been installed here decades ago. There are billions of connected things in that industrial network today, but the data is unable to go up into the cloud where cloud providers, AI providers can actually take the data and provide benefits to the business owners. We understand the language of industrial IoT very well because of our roots in that space. And we also understand this IT universe very well because of our roots being in Silicon Valley. So, for industrial customers to benefit from this transformation, it's very important to be able to understand the OT world, the operational technology world of old days, and the IT world that we are very familiar with. So with the addition of these acquisitions that we've done this summer, we're very well positioned with the building blocks that uh, we can put together and offer differentiated solutions to our end customers. 
Well, Norbe, it's been a pleasure having you on theCUBE at the 15th annual AECGSV Grow Awards. Congratulations Thank to you. Adesso, your whole team, for the Emerging Growth Award, and we look forward to seeing what happens this year in the space with you guys. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Lisa Martin, you're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.